Hey guys, it's Mike again. Uh, we went ahead, uh, one of the things we had to do was to add a dome pressure sensor on the top of one of our wastegates. Uh, you buy one of these high dollar things, knowing that they're going to be used for uh, drag racing or, I don't know, performance. What I don't get is why they don't drill and tap them and add the extra port there from the factory, but anyways, they don't. So uh, I made a video on doing that. It's really not no big deal, but you got to have it. I mean, you got to have the data. You got to know how much air or CO2 you're putting on top of it uh, for the boost controller. I got to drill and tap this wastegate dome so I can put a dome pressure sensor in it. <coughs> Well, it's a good thing you stopped here. You actually caught Slick out the house. Yeah, I was slick, and I caught him. You called him. I called you, but you didn't have a phone call? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so what's your phone number? Five, seven, six. Wait a minute, I can't say that on YouTube. Everybody know my phone number. Because it's rolled over to Tracy's phone. Oh. So you have to text me. I was like, No, you just have to text me. You just have to text me. That's smart because you know everybody calls me. Yeah, everybody calls me. Never stops ringing. Ain't doing all that. Y'all say hi to my daughter-in-law. <laughs> she ain't good for nothing. Only comes around when she needs something. Huh? Bye. Just like it. Tapped it so we can add the dome pressure sensor. So here's the sensor. It's 
screws into the to the that. Voila! Did not leave myself any room for for another fitting beside it, but whatever. Can't get everything right. cut another half inch off of it. Easier to cut it off than it is to add it back. That's what I should have told the doctor when I got circumcised. Easy, doc. It's easier to cut it off than it is to add it back. First thing he wants to do is just go to whack it. <laughs> oh, well. You win some, you lose some. JGS, JGS PT waste gates. Um, a lot of people like them. A lot of people use them. I thought I'd give them a chance. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out if they're worth the crap. <clears throat> but they send a spring. The spring that comes in it's a red spring. They send you two other springs: a natural spring and a black spring. The red spring seems to be the lightest. Um, just by simply squeezing it, you can mash it flat with no effort. The black one is a little stiffer than the natural one's real stiff. We're going to go with the red spring uh, just in case we do get to those roads that are junk and I need to not make very much boost off the line. It should be okay. All right, we got that done, and uh, this is what it is. It's just this sensor right here. Like I said, it's just for, just measures the amount of air or CO2 that your boost controller puts on top of the dome. And this is just reference as far as how much is there. Um, sends it back, which like I said, I, I run a Holley Dominator, so it sends a signal back of, uh, of how much dome pressure is there for the boost controller um, and, and that's how those solenoids are actuated yada 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 that's a whole nother story but anyways we got that done hope you enjoy the video um, <clears throat> go ahead and subscribe like 
leave us a comment what you would do different i mean if anything um share the video and remember hit the bell so you get the notifications let you know every time that i do have a, a new video up uh, until next time guys thanks